What's up YouTube, it's Lego King 71 here with my fifth castle mock update video. In last week's update, I built the entire second level of the castle, so make sure you go check it out if you missed it. In today's update, I will be building a new island behind the castle complete with a cave, a shipwreck, and a bridge leading from the castle to this new island. I began by working on the shipwreck so that I could build the island around it. On this part of the mock, I cheated a little bit by starting with an official Lego pirate ship set. My idea was to use this as a base and then later deconstruct it to look like a weathered shipwreck. I'll be modifying it in a later video, but for this update I'll just be building the ship exactly as the instructions specify. After that, I began creating the island. I used a mixture of dark tan and light tan plates to represent wet and dry sand. This is different than the other island I created because I wanted there to be a beach on this one rather than a dock. Next I started building the rockwork of the island cave. My idea was to have the shipwreck spill treasure and gold onto the inside of the cave. And I also wanted this cave to be home to a dragon that was guarding the treasure. Again I took advantage of a super awesome Lego Harry Potter set for the dragon. It was the perfect scale for what I was wanting to accomplish with the size of the cave opening and actually most of the dragon fits inside. Once I had the dragon for scale I finished building the rest of the rockwork around it and the shipwreck. Around the same time, I also took advantage of the pick-a-brick wall at one of my local Lego stores and bought a bunch of pick-a-brick cups full of 4x6 plates to cover the multicolored base plates. Buying the plates from the pick-a-brick wall is significantly cheaper than ordering them online, but unfortunately these were the only size of blue plates that my local store had at the time, so I wasn't able to fill all the smaller gaps yet. In this time lapse, you can see me starting to build a castle tower on top of the island. I also built a path into the rocks leading from the tower down to the shipwreck. The bridge is the next part I built. The bridge is six studs wide with tiles lining it to resemble wooden planks. I used a series of arches to make the rails of the walkway on the bridge more detailed. Another detail I wanted to add were support beams below the bridge. Here's how I built those. Once I had these built, I attached them below the bridge using snot bricks. Finally, I finished the railings with more tiles to cover the remaining studs that were exposed. After that, all that was left to do was add the roof tiles and the bridge was done. That's it for this week's update. In the next update, I'll be deconstructing the pirate ship into a shipwreck, extending the beach on the side facing the front of the mock, and building more of the castle tower on top of the island. Thanks for watching, drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next episode. See ya!